Hello, my name is Ultra, and welcome back to Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 5. I'm really excited for this. This episode is called Eastwatch. Let's get into this right now. Let's go. Oh, and mute. Uh, sorry about this. Because, uh, like, the, the audio is always the one that gets me. I mean, like, the claims and all that. So, I will be trying to sing it, but, like, I don't really want to as well. Like, I can skip the intro but also it's not proper because you know it's it's a good intro you know i like the i like the setup of it i like the um you know the the whole artist artistry of it and i like that somebody actually took the time to do this uh but yeah the 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 music is always the the one that i'm like really this is the one you want to you wanna claim, you know, a lot of people use it too, like, I mean, like, just in, like, competitions and everything, I see them, like, do the flute and all that, like, it's really interesting to see people's take on it, you know, uh, so I don't really get it, like, I mean, like, YouTube copyright is really, really weird sometimes for me. I don't know too, cause like my friend was like, um, maybe you should do it like mute it the whole way, like you know no audio, whatever, um, and then maybe the the um, you know the visuals you can kind of tint it, cause that one you can cannot really run from it, and I'm like, yeah I could do that, but I was like, I don't want to watch something muted with you guys like I wanna I wanna hear the dialogue with you guys I wanna feel the emotions with you guys okay it's coming back so unmute Okay, so it's come back here and unmute. Alright, so uh, yeah, so, so sorry about that, but uh, yeah, it's the best I can do. You know, the speed ups is actually because sometimes they, they include audiovisual content, so I have to speed up the audio. Yeah. Hi, Bron. Yeah, I, I kind of knew. Because I'm like, he can't be really drowning. I mean, like, Jamie can't really, really drown because, like, Bron technically tackled him into that lake. You could have killed me. <laughs> well, you could have killed yourself, actually, as well. the dragon between you and her and <laughs> and <laughs> just didn't give a fuck that's what listen to me cunt till I get what I want a dragon doesn't get to kill you you don't get to kill you you don't get only to kill I you. get to kill you <laughs> that was only one of them if she decides to use them, to really use them. You're fucked. What do you mean we're fucked? No, I do not. Dragons are where our partnership ends. I'm not going to be around when those things start spitting fire on King's Landing. <laughs> not going to be around when uh, they start spitting fire. Might as well jump back in that river. <laughs> so jump back in that river. <laughs> Actually, that's really true. And like sometimes I kind of do talk over people when they talk. And I'm just like, well, it's not really intentional. It's like I sometimes have the idea to talk, and that was the best time. So it's not my fault, guys. Okay, <laughs> it's just my brain. And I get it, you know, you want to hear what they say as well. I'm like, okay, I, I can tone down whatever I say. 
But sometimes I mean, kind of like with Avatar as well, I kind of watched that as well, so I kind of quote it. And like someone was like, why do you talk about the production? We don't really care about that. I'm like, really? This is a fucking epic show and you don't want to like appreciate the inspirational... Production and everything that went into this. That's just crazy dumb. I know what Cersei has told you. That I've come to destroy your cities. Burn down your homes, murder you and orphan your children. That's Cersei Lannister, not me. I'm not here to murder. Uh... And all I want to destroy is the wheel that has rolled over rich and poor. To the benefit of no one but the Cersei Lannisters of the world. We kind of like to differ. Choice. I guess, like, you know, Bend they're the gonna say that. <laughs> Man, she is on this bend the knee rampage, isn't she? And my hair is pretty bad, because, yeah, down. technically I just woke up. You will not kneel. I already have a queen. My sister. She wasn't your queen until recently, though, was she? Mm -hmm. When she murdered your rightful queen and destroyed House Tyrell for all time. So it appears your allegiances are somewhat flexible. Choices. True. Say what you will about your sister. She was born in Westeros. Lived here all her life. Also true. You won't be that. Murdered your own father. Well, he you had it coming. One with no ties to this land. Well, fuck you, boy. An army of savages at her back. You will not trade your honor for your life. I respect that. Perhaps you could take the black, your grace. Whatever else he is, he is a true soldier. he would be invaluable at the war. You cannot send me to the war. You are not my queen. Kill me too. Step back and shut your mouth. Who are you? Stupid boy. I'm Dick Ontario. Son of Randall Tarly. You are the future of your house. This war has already wiped one great house from the world. Don't let it happen again. Bend the knee. I will not. What? Bro, bad form. Nothing scrubs bold notions from a man's head like a few weeks in the dark cell. You meant what I said. I'm not here to put men in shades. If that becomes an option, many will take it. I gave them a choice. They made it. Mmm, Chris. Stop the heading entire family. Stop the heading. Monarchical politics is even harder, man. I mean it, like, it's super Lord hard. Lord Randall Tarly, Dick and Tarly. I, Daenerys of House Targaryen, first of my name, breaker of chains and mother of dragons, sentence you to die. Dracarys.
I, Daenerys of House Targaryen, first of my name, breaker of chains and mother of dragons, sentence you to die. Dracarys. Oh, shit. Yeah. God damn. So oh, God bless the queen then. I'll hail the queen, baby. Well, there is some not bending. Oh, I guess that's the Dothraki though. Again, man, a rock in a hard place. that win wars we have the Tyrell gold we have the iron bank behind us we can buy mercenaries not the same as our men but they'll fight if they're well paid which they will be and I just saw the Dothraki fight they'll beat any mercenary army they'll beat any army I've ever seen killing our men wasn't war for them it was sport a dragon burnt a thousand wagons Kyber and Scorpion fired bulls bigger than you they couldn't stop it and she has three of them What do we do? Two for peace. Bend any. Yeah. I sit on her father's throne, the father you betrayed and murdered. And in her mind, she's winning. What sort of offer do you think she'd make? Maybe we can count on Tyrion to intercede on our behalf. By way of apology for murdering our father and son. He didn't. You saw the crossbow, you saw his body. I'm not talking about father. Tyrion didn't kill Joffrey, he had nothing to do with it. After all this time, it still amazes me. It was Olenna. She admitted it. She confessed before she died. And this was before or after she drank the poison you so kindly provided her. Before. After. And you believed her. Yes. If you were Olenna, would you rather have seen your granddaughter married to Joffrey than Tommy? Which mm. one would Marjorie have been better able to control? Which one would have made Olenna the true ruler of the Seven Kingdoms? She was telling the truth. I shouldn't have listened to you. She should have died screaming. She's dead. Like her son, her grandchildren, her whole house. And if we don't find a way out of this war, we'll follow them. So we fight now, and die, or we submit and die. I know my choice. Now, now so she's ha she has the burning vengeance now. That look of amazement, man. I just that like dead fast, like it's like, wow. <laughs> Easy, boy. I ain't your enemy. So. If it doesn't bite off your head, I am seriously just gonna like be at all at you, man. There we go. Oh, he did it! Yay! <laughs> he did it.
she's impressed. They're terrifying. Gorgeous beasts. They're not beasts to me. No matter how big they get, how terrifying to everyone else. They're my children. You weren't gone long. No. And? And? And I have fewer enemies today than I did yesterday. <laughs> You're not sure how you feel about that. Sorry, no, my bottle fell. How many men did your army kill taking Winterfell back from the Baltics? Thousands. We both want to help people. We can only help them from a position of strength. Sometimes strength is terrible. When you first came here, Sir Davos said you took a knife in the heart for your people. Sir Davos gets carried away. <laughs> So it was a figure of speech. Uh, it's hard to explain. Jin Maharaja sta me me okyo shafti jehalis. Jora, it's good to see you. It's good to see you again, man. Your grace. John Snow, this is Sir Jorah Mormont, an old friend. I served with your father. He was a great man. You look strong. You found a cure. I wouldn't be here if I hadn't. I return to your service, my queen. If you'll have me. It would be my honor. She hugs him. Yeah, there you go. Sam says hi. <laughs> Hashtag offered. Oh, here comes the girls. Yeah, the three had raven. That's right. Look at the snow though. Color of the snow. About that. Uh, it's the night walkers. I wanted to say like night watch and then I was like, what no? <laughs> We need to send ravens. I could very little stop on it myself. Prophecies of doom are never in short supply, especially when winter comes. I remember Walton. A little timid, but a sharp man. Yeah, the North has dulled many good maesters' wits. Hard to say whether it's the cold, the drink, or the company. <laughs> a crippled boy claims to have seen dead men on the march beyond the wall. Thanks to the magical help of a raven, with three eyes. Yes, it is a bit much. Still, we ought to run and start. The crippled boy. You know I know him well. I led him through the wall years ago. I saw him go beyond the wall. And? 
somehow, the crippled boy survived for years beyond the wall when no one else could. Not the Night's Watch, not the Wildlands, no one. Perhaps we ought to listen to what he has to say. Perhaps you need more scribing to discipline your mind. A sense of more detail proposal is forthcoming. Huh? <laughs> Everyone in Westeros trusts and respects you. If you tell people the threat is real, they'll believe you. If you advise all the laws to send their men north to hold the wall, they'll do it. And if you tell every maester in the Citadel to search every word of every faded scroll about the Long Night, they may find something that lets us defeat the army of the dead for good. It could be done. And this news could be authentic. It's possible. It's also possible that this message is part of a ploy by the Dragon Queen to lure southern armies away from the lands they are currently defending to open those lands to easy conquest. That does seem far more likely than magic birds talking to cripples. Archmaster, please. It's real. I'm seeing it. We will write to Mr. Wilkin at Winterfell for clarification. I promise you, we will get to the truth of it one way or another. Archmaster, that please. Will be all, oh, that'll be all. Mr. Wilkin, we are continuing to host the Shards who claimed descent from the children of the forest. And don't forget the prophet Lodos, who promised that the drowned god would rise up and destroy Egon the Conqueror. Oh, <laughs> Lodos. <laughs> So, horrible business. I haven't had the heart to tell him yet. He's a good lad. Right. Oh, he's a Tyrell. I forgot. Apart the last time I checked. No, he's a Tali, isn't it? All rulers demand that people bend the knee. That's why they're rulers. She gave Tali a choice. The man who had taken up arms against her. What else could she do? Not to burn him alive alongside his son. I am her hand, not her head. I can't make her decisions for her. That's what I used to tell myself about her father. I found the traitors, but I wasn't the one burning him alive. I was only a purveyor of information. It's what I told myself when I watched them beg for mercy. I'm not the one doing it. When the pitch of their screams rose higher, I'm not the one doing it. When the hair caught fire and the smell of the burning flesh filled the throne room, I'm not the one doing it. Daenerys is not her father. And she never will be. With the right counsel. What, what do you mean? <laughs> you need to find a way to make her listen. Who's that for? John Snow. Did you read it? It's a sealed scroll for the king in the north. <laughs> of course I read it. <laughs> oh? What's it say? I thought Arya was dead. I thought Bran was dead. I'm happy for you. You don't look happy. Bran saw the Night King and his army marching towards Eastwatch. If they make it past the wall... The wall has kept them out for thousands of years, presumably. I need to go home. You said you don't have enough men. We'll fight with the men we have. Unless you'll join us. And give the country to Cersei. As soon as I march away, she marches in. Perhaps not. Hmm? Cersei thinks the army of the dead is nothing but a story. Made up by wet nurses to frighten children. What if we prove her wrong? I don't think she'll come see the dead at my invitation. <laughs> so bring the dead to her. I thought that was what we were trying to avoid. You don't have to bring the whole army. 
only one soldier. Is that possible? It actually is. The first white I ever saw was brought into Castle Black from beyond the wall. Bring one of these things down to King's Landing and show her the truth. Anything you bring back will be useless unless Cersei grants us an audience and is somehow convinced not to murder us the moment we set foot in the capital. True. The only person she listens to is Jim. He may listen to me. And how would you get into King's Landing? I can smuggle you in, but if the gold cloaks were to recognize you, I'm warning you, I'm not a fighter. But it'll all be for nothing if we don't have one of these dead men. Fair point. How do you propose to find one? With the Queen's permission, I'll go north and take one. You asked me to find a cure so I could serve you. Allow me to serve you. <laughs> Free folk will help us. They know the real north better than anyone. They won't follow Sir Jorah. They won't have to. You can't lead a raid beyond the wall. You're not in the Night's Watch anymore. You're king in the north. I'm the only one here who's fought them. I'm the only one here who knows them. True. I haven't given you permission to leave. With respect, Your Grace, I don't need your permission. Oh. I am a king. And I came here knowing that you could have your men behead me or your dragons burn me alive. I put my trust in you, the stranger, because I knew it was the best chance for my people, for all our people. Now I'm asking you to trust in a stranger. Because it's our best chance. The king in the north should stay in the north. We did not choose you to rule us. But perhaps we should have. The Knights of the Vale came here for you, Lady Stark. Shit. You are very kind, my lords. But John is our king. He is doing what he thinks is best. I warned John this would happen. But he couldn't leave the North and expect it to just sit and wait for him like ghost. He didn't. He trusted you to hold it for him. Well, he's not making it easy. The Northern Lords are proud. Well, you stoked he's a that of pride. Fact, and... See what you mean. You always liked nice things. Made you feel better than everyone. Are you angry with me? They were insulting John. And you sat there and listened. I listened to their complaints, which is my responsibility as Lady of Winterfell. Their opinions are important to you. Glover has 500 men, Royce has 2,000. Offend them, and John loses his army. Not if they lose their heads first. <laughs> also true. Winterfell didn't just fall into our hands. We took it back. And the Mormonts, and the Hornwoods, and the Wildlings, and the Vale. All of us working together. Now, I'm sure cutting off heads is very satisfying, but that's not the way you get people to work together. And if John doesn't come back, you'll need their support. So you can work together mm -hmm. to give you what you really want. How can you even think such a horrible thing? 
You're thinking it right now. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to be. 